So, since Grok's AI was unveiled, many have wondered how it compares to ChatGPT, which, despite all the recent developments, is still king in the AI space. Which one is better? And more importantly, which one should you choose? Don't worry, we gotcha. Just keep watching the video until the end to find out. We'll compare their features, advantages, and limitations head-to-head -head in this comprehensive showdown. We'll go through all their key differences and how they perform compared to one another in various tasks. By the end of this video, you should have a better understanding of these two AI models and which one best suits your needs. Now, let's dive into the showdown. Comparing AI features, Grok vs ChatGPT. All right, let's put these two giants toe to toe so you can decide which one is the best alternative for you. Elon Musk's latest venture in the AI domain is the creation of Grok, a chatbot with a bravely unconventional approach to artificial intelligence interaction. Named after a concept from the science fiction book The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Grok is intended to have a rebellious streak capable of handling spicy questions with a touch of wit and humor. Grok, developed by Musk's new AI company, XAI, was introduced as a direct competitor to existing AI models like OpenAI's ChatGPT. The prototype of Grok is currently in the early stages of training and development. However, it promises to deliver a unique, engaging, and interactive experience to users. What sets Grok apart from other AI chatbots is its distinct personality. It's designed to be sassy, rebellious, and even foul-mouthed at times, providing a stark contrast to the usually neutral and polite demeanor of most AI systems. This personality trait is expected to make interactions with Grok more entertaining and less robotic. In terms of its technical capabilities, it's still too early to make a direct comparison between Grok and its competitors. However, the introduction of Grok into the AI landscape suggests a shift in the design philosophy of AI systems with a greater focus on developing AI personalities that can better resonate with human users. While the specifics of Grok's underlying technology stack and its detailed functionalities are yet to be revealed, it is clear that Grok aims to redefine user interactions with AI, bringing a dash of rebellion and wit to the conversation. On the other hand, there's ChatGPT, the reigning AI champion. This model has been trained on an enormous amount of data and can generate realistic human-like language with ease. Nowadays, you can actually use two different versions, a free one which uses the most advanced version of GPT-3 called GPT-3.5 Turbo, and a premium one which includes the incredible GPT-4, as well as new and exciting features. ChatGPT uses a transformer-based neural network architecture, which allows it to generate contextual relevant responses, making it capable of carrying on a conversation that feels remarkably human. The model does not have access to personal data about individuals unless explicitly provided in the conversation. It is designed to respect user privacy and confidentiality, although there have been some rumors of potential leaks and security issues. GPT-4, the successor to GPT-3, and the model ChatGPT Pro uses, is still under development by OpenAI at the time of this video, although we've been able to use its beta version for a couple of months now. And perhaps more excitingly, OpenAI is constantly iterating on ChatGPT, adding new features and enhancements to improve its capabilities. For example, ChatGPT Pro now allows users to create custom GPTs, this means you can fine-tune the model's parameters to better suit your specific use case. For instance, if you're using ChatGPT for customer service, you could train a custom model that's specifically optimized for handling customer inquiries. And you know what? A few weeks ago, we published a tutorial just about that. Take a look and let us know what custom GPTs you want to create to conquer the world. Different versions of GPT you can use. A lot of people are actually confused on the main differences between the available GPT models. So let's take a look at what separates them. Firstly, there's the data they were trained on. GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 were both trained on data up until September 2021, while GPT 4 Turbo was trained on data up until April 2023, making it the most up-to-date model. 
This also makes it a worthy contestant when it comes to creating up-to-date relevant content, something that Grok prides itself on. Next, there's the difference in accessibility. GPT 3.5 is accessible to all ChatGPT users. GPT 4 is available to ChatGPT Plus users and those with access to the API. And GPT 4 Turbo is currently available to paying developers in its preview stage. That means that unless you're currently paying OpenAI, you'll only be able to use the basic GPT 3.5. So if you're serious about using AI, you will probably want to start exploring the premium alternatives. In terms of input, GPT 3.5 accepts text prompts, while GPT 4 brought a significant upgrade, accepting both text and image prompts. And the latest, GPT 4 Turbo, takes it a step further by accepting text, images, and even text to speech prompts. Finally, we have the context window size. This is related to the length of the text prompts that you can use and is probably the most important feature when it comes to using AI. And again, the differences between the three models are pretty clear here. GPT 3.5 Turbo has a context window of 16,385 tokens. GPT 4 has a window of 8,192 tokens. And the GPT 4 Turbo model significantly expands this to a whopping 128,000 tokens. Quick pause here. We've put a lot of effort into gathering the most up-to-date data to help you as much as possible in choosing between ChatGPT and Grok. So if you find that we've been helpful, please consider subscribing with notifications on. It would support us a lot. And it will only cost you $1,468. <laughs> Just kidding. It's free. Diving into data sources. In terms of data sources, Grok and ChatGPT employ pretty different methods for training their AI models, each with its own unique advantages and potential drawbacks. Grok, designed to deliver the most current and relevant information, leverages real-time data from the X social media platform, as well as web scraping techniques. This method allows Grok to pull in fresh data from the internet continuously, thereby providing users with the most up-to-date information. It's particularly beneficial for users who need real-time updates or want to engage in conversations about ongoing events or trending topics. On the other hand, ChatGPT utilizes a static dataset that comprises a substantial corpus of text publicly available from the internet. This dataset, which includes data up until September 2023, provides a broad knowledge base for the AI model. Consequently, it can generate diverse and creative text, making it an excellent tool for users who value extensive and varied knowledge. However, due to the static nature of its training data, ChatGPT may not provide information on events or updates occurring post-September 2023. Although OpenAI has tried to include a SERPs scraping functionality a couple of times, with mixed results. So what does this mean for users? If you're looking for the latest information or wish to discuss trending topics, Grok's ability to utilize real-time data may offer more up-to-the-minute responses. In contrast, if you're seeking a broad range of information or want to explore diverse topics, ChatGPT's large dataset could facilitate more comprehensive and inventive text generation. However, it is important to note that both models have their limitations. Grok, while providing real-time information, may be influenced by the biases inherent in its data sources, such as the nature of X as a social media platform. Similarly, ChatGPT, although trained on a massive dataset, may occasionally generate incorrect or nonsensical answers due to the inherent challenges of understanding and generating human language. Ownership and Operational Dynamics Ownership and operational dynamics play a significant role in shaping the development and functionalities of Grok and ChatGPT. Grok, under the banner of Elon Musk's XAI, benefits from its association with the innovative ventures of its parent company. The potential integration of Grok with Tesla's technologies presents a unique opportunity for AI-enhanced automation. However, initial accessibility may be limited with broader availability planned for X Premium Plus subscribers. Right now, it's just an invite-only platform and can't be accessed by the general public. 
ChatGPT, developed by OpenAI and led by CEO Sam Altman, who was recently fired by the board of directors and then promptly admitted back, prioritizes widespread accessibility. ChatGPT's basic version is freely available on OpenAI's website, making it popular among a wide range of users. And if you're looking for something more powerful, you can always pay for a pro account or use the API or Playground directly. In conclusion, both Grok and ChatGPT have distinct strengths and challenges in terms of ownership and operational dynamics. The preference for one over the other depends on individual priorities, whether you value exclusivity or accessibility, innovation or affordability. In the following final section, we'll explore factors that might guide you towards the ideal AI tool for your unique requirements. Making the right choice. While it's crucial to weigh the pros and cons of Grok and ChatGPT, it's even more important to understand that the right choice largely depends on one's specific needs and preferences. Grok AI, still in limited beta testing, is a powerhouse for real-time data access, making it appealing to those desiring prompt, accurate information. If futuristic capabilities are your interest, Grok's potential integration with neural links could be great for you and its ability to scrape X mixed with its unique functionality has created a lot of hype surrounding it. However, it's still pretty hard to get our hands on it. On the other hand, the difference between ChatGPT and many other chatbots is its extensive user base and accessibility. It thrives on its large data set, generating diverse responses, which could be ideal for creative or customer support tasks. You can potentially use it for almost anything, coding, writing, customer service, and this is more true now than ever thanks to innovations like its custom GPTs. So what's the final verdict? It ultimately depends on your priorities. If you're looking for exclusivity and advanced capabilities, Grok might be the best fit for you, although you might have to wait in order to use it. But if accessibility and affordability are key factors, ChatGPT could be the perfect choice. But don't just take our word for it. Do your own research, consider your specific needs, and choose wisely. At the end of the day, both Grok and ChatGPT are powerful AI tools that can greatly benefit different industries and individuals in their own unique ways. So what do you think of this AI showdown? Have you decided which one to choose between ChatGPT and Grok? Let us know in the comments. And as always, drop a Grok GPT in the comments to let us know that you watched the video till the end. See you in the next video, folks.